respected dear family members what i could watch yesterday in the tv while the discussions were going on in parliament for the last many days bringing out many allegations severe criticisms even using non parliamentary words by the opposition and the ruling party sharply reacting against it and when we the people of india selected and elected people to rule us to make laws and rules for us never separated them as opposition and the ruling party we only elected the mps and we sent them to parliament not merely for their enjoyment and taking lakhs of rupees salary but sharing caring and curing the problems of indians we selected cpi cpm congress bjd or any other party ncp or bjp or shivasena or anybody we selected for ruling us as rulers and mps not as opposition and ruling party it later got converted into opposition and ruling party based on the number not based on the qualities of the individuals so we could see the the really tearing really screaming shouting and protesting words in the last two parliament sessions and up to yesterday the third parliament session <coughs> the parliament which is expected to solve the problem of the people did not even listen the problems of the people and the ruling party was always forced to stand in the defense and sometimes in the offense what we could see yesterday in parliament our prime minister was highly offensively targeting nehru's renovations reforms and law making procedures after that indira gandhi after that rajiv gandhi now the the italian lady and her son everything without missing word by word sentence by sentence issue by issue law by law everything could be explained with the documents and the opposition party members laughed including the congress members laughed against their own ex leaders and present leaders the so called premature future king of india he could not and his mother could not tolerate it and he was making a so called walk out and walk in frequently with the sleeve hand sleeve of the shirt raising up and down and uh, thinking that he is now the pres- the king of india and uh, every bit of what happened for the last 60 years was literally smashed out uh, through the words of prime minister with the examples of russia and what happened to khrushchev and when khrushchev was opposing stalin's uh, activities as though somebody asked to khrushchev what you were doing when you were working with the stalin it so happened our prime minister said that khrushchev said that during then that i was thinking of fighting against the stalin but i did not prime minister said for the last 60 years the congress was thinking of doing anything but they did not do anything they were all thinking of doing many things now the things are moving even though opposition is on the other pole of the earth so things are moving with the same office things are moving with the same officials same bureaucrats and with a different vision and for every activity our prime minister could give justification point by point a reply with the document the total parliament members got flabbergasted of course with the jokes with the teasing words with the hidden words and with powerful words indian prime minister reacted perhaps 
after one year and a half, Satchevi, Satchevi, he used to react in the act, but Satchevi he did study. And the feeling that the people did have was something marvelous. That is what I expected, I don't know. Anyway, no channel from Kerala gave anything positive about it. But surprisingly, NDTV, Times Now, and CNN, IBN, and so on. They gave the full lecture, direct live telecast. Even though many a times they stand on the other side against the rulers, against the ruling party. But they did their level best to project the words directly as it came from the mouth of Sri Narendra Modi and people could understand what is meant by nationalism, what is meant by patriotism, what is meant by governance, what is meant by sincerity, what is meant by transparency. All these things could be understood very well yesterday from Prime Minister. Previous days, Arun Jetli's way of presentation was also super. Kashmir ex-Chief Minister Omar Abdullah said that the opposition of India got a trap. They have got nothing to do, nothing to tell against the present budget. Even though Omar Abdullah used to be on the other side, his words were very sharp against Indian opposition and indirectly supporting the budget. And previous to that one, Smriti Rani's words went so powerful that it was just like lightning and thundering in the inside the parliament. A lady below 40 years could uh, give the answer word by word and what she could, uh, what she did uh, in the last uh, one year and eight months. So, whatever may be the thing, one year and uh, ten months, whatever may be the thing, the ruling parties, members, started sharply reacting and acting and projecting their achievements and projecting the misgovernance of the previous government, particularly Nehru family. And it was a feast for the ears and the eyes of those who were watching, including me, in the Parliament Affairs yesterday. Generally, I rarely used to listen, nowadays rarely used to watch the media because as some Keralites, as some Keralites, after staying in Kerala for one month, they are returned two days back to Canada, America and Europe, their own place. They said how the media is working in Kerala, the nasty way, the ugly way, the most intolerant way, partial and biased way, the Kerala media is working. The moment we see, we watch that media or read the newspapers, we will have to take a dip in Ganga water. That is what somebody wrote to me about Kerala media. About Indian media also not much different, but still the English media, they projected the parliament affairs in an unbiased way. Even though they might have discussed it late evening in their own way, to say negative about it. And simultaneously, Kanaya Kumar's bail and other things also projected in the media very nicely as the verdict came from the Delhi High Court. All these things together, I felt uh, and I am feeling India is moving in the right direction. Indians are moving in the right directions. What is meant by governance? What is meant by misgovernance? That is also being learned and taught very well for the last uh, nearly 22 months. And uh, I feel to be a proud Indian citizen. I am sure you will also be feeling that. Thank you very much. My pronouns to you.